Stardew Valley doesn't save old versions of your game for you to go back and play on like a game like Skyrim does. Instead, at the end of every day, your existing file is overwritten with your new save data. This means that if your world is ever accidentally deleted or if your file is corrupted, you are just out of luck and you'll lose your hours of progress forever. This is obviously something that no one wants, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up your Stardew Valley saves so that you don't risk heartbreak. And before we go any further, I'd like to mention I do stream at twitch.tv slash unsurpassableZ. I would love to have you there. Backing up your saves is simply a matter of copying your game's data files to another location on your computer or a hard drive for safekeeping. The trick is just finding out where these files are kept on your computer. From your files, you're going to want to go to your C drive, and then from there, you're going to want to go to users, and then whatever user you're on. The next folder we want to go to is app data, but you can see on Windows it is not shown by default, so you want to go to view and then click on hidden items, and now you see app data is here. After you click on that, you go into roaming, and then you find Stardew Valley towards the bottom. And then right here is saves. If you're having trouble finding your save files, you can go all the way back to your C drive and simply type in Stardew into the field here. And after a little bit of searching, you can see that there's a folder called Stardew Valley without a space. And you can see that it has the exact same file path, C, users, your name, app data, roaming as before. You can double click on this to open it. And then here you can see, once again, we're back to saves. This folder has all the different data for your different saves on Stardew Valley, and they all take the form of whatever your name of the character is on your world, followed by an underscore, and then followed by what seems like a random number, but this is actually the number of minutes that have passed since the game launched when you created your character. This is useful because if you have two farms where your character is named the same thing, for example in my case I have two farms where I'm named Dumpy, you can see that the number that is lower is the file that you made first. From there all you want to do is highlight whatever farms that you want to back up, right click on them and click on copy, and then find another place on your computer where you can right click and paste the files. For me, I have this on an external hard drive, but you can really put this anywhere. And so you can see in the event that any of your files get destroyed in the future, or if you wanna go back and play on an older version of your farm, you will now have the ability to take this and once again paste it back into the folder that we were just in. That's all I have for now though, thanks so much for watching. If this was helpful, please consider subscribing, and remember I do stream live at twitch.tv slash unsurpassableZ. Peace.